So as we think about the topic of an IT security risk assessment, two questions come to mind. Why perform one and who should be involved? But before we talk about why and who, we have some information that we wanted to share with the group. Uh, Carol kind of alluded to some of the results earlier. Um, what we've done is we've obtained a 2009 HIMSS security survey. And as you can see, I'm just going to highlight a couple of the items. About three-fourths of the respondents actually perform a risk assessment. However, about 50% of them found patient data to be at risk. Kind of interesting. As we look at logging, the good news is that logs are widely used. But only about 25% of the respondents use an automated tool for the analysis. So basically that means that we're spending a majority of our time uh, performing manual reviews of those logs. And therefore, you know, I'd ask those organizations if this is the best use of their resources or if there is an opportunity to use an automated tool like Security Audit Manager. And then finally, the topic of encryption is, is kind of interesting. Um, it's really, at this point, not fully embraced. Only about two-thirds of the participants use encryption during transmission, and actually less than 50% of them encrypt stored data. So we thought it would be interesting to do our own survey with those of you out there uh, participating in this webinar. Uh, we'd like to do this, uh, this survey uh, pretty quickly. It's just one question. Uh, the question is, has your facility completed an IT security risk assessment in the last two years? We're only going to leave this poll open for about 15 to 20 seconds, so if you could please select your answer and hit the submit button, uh, we'd appreciate it. And then, like I said, in about 15 seconds or so, uh, we'll see what kind of results we have from our survey. And I would also like to mention to um, everyone that is attending the webcast today that if you'd like to view it in full screen mode, please select view at the top in full screen or you can press alt plus enter together. Thank you. Okay. Um, wow. Looks like uh, we did not get um, <laughs> very many people to, uh, um, to vote. So I think our data might be uh, a little hard to interpret. So uh, with that being the case, Let's go ahead and continue the presentation, and I'm going to hand it off to Johan Lidros. Excellent. Thank you, Richard. So why perform an IT security risk assessment? Performing an IT security risk assessment is a critical part of the organization's IT security governance and IT governance effort. As you may know, IT security is a major component of your IT governance effort. The main two components of IT and IT security governance are conformance and performance. So conformance relates to the regulatory compliance and compliance to internal, internal policies. For example, HIPAA, the HIPAA regulation, state regulation, but also other legally, uh, uh, legally uh, binding areas such as uh, PCI. And furthermore, uh, your internal policies hopefully will claim that you should perform an IT security risk assessment on a re regular basis, who is responsible to perform it and how it is approved. Performance. Performance relates to the organization's business value, business strategies, efficiencies, and growth. And with the implementation of EMR, the performance components get even more important from an IT security and business perspective. So how, how will the organization business value be impacted by the security around your EMR solution? As you know, most organizations stress to provide the best clinical service in the area. So what does this mean from your from a security perspective? And no downtime at all, dual authentication or just uh, passwords. Another important question related to performance is if, you, if your security solution will meet the future growth requirements. And uh, can we prove efficiency by providing better security solutions? It's also a critical question. 
So perform an IT security risk assessment will answer these critical questions and meet other performance and conformance IT security governance requirements. So an IT security, in summary, is, is a business is a very bu a critical um, business tool. There are some overlapping areas related to conformance and performance, as you see on this slide. The common goals for both conformance and performance are to define management risk acceptance and define an action plan to address risk gaps and to maintain the current risk level. Or in other words, these are our IT security risks. These are areas, this is how we manage the IT security risks and opportunities. These are areas we need to improve to meet management expectations. These are the key controls that we need to test, verify that they are working on a regular basis. For example, your disaster recovery plan or penetration testing, recovery test of backups, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so let's talk uh, a minute about value. Actually, a couple slides ago, um, in the picture. As you can see uh, on your slide right now, uh, we had the scale. And in the scale, under the column of performance, you could see the word value. Now, what do we mean by value? Why was it added in this list? Was it just a sexy buzzword? Or is there really more concrete support to include this word in, um, in the scope of what we're talking about? So as we look at this slide, we have a matrix that we've uh, borrowed from the IT uh, Policy Compliance Group. It's actually a governance, risk, and compliance study that was performed. Now, before pointing out a few of the highlights related to value, I thought we should talk about what mature IT governance actually is. And again, as you're looking at this chart in front of you, um, more mature IT governance are organizations that are listed as level five, which are to the far right-hand side of this chart. So what is IT governance or mature governance? Well, it's not management. Instead, governance develops policies that determine who has the authority to make decisions. Once these policies are developed, management helps ensure that the organization's governance approach is carried out on a consistent day-to-day -day basis. So governance helps organizations with two key questions that assess the effectiveness and the completeness of IT decisions. The questions are, are we getting value for money? And do security solutions delivered meet our full expectations? Again, mature governance aligns day-to-day -day execution with strategic decisions. So now as we go back to our diagram, Organizations with more mature IT governance enjoy benefits and obtain value in many aspects of their, ba of their business. And as you can see, that's increased customer or patient satisfaction and retention, increased revenues and profits, and then less risk and cost to manage risk. So, that there, so there is some data to support the argument that value, that there is value in performing an IT security risk assessment. The problem is that only about 12% of the organizations are at a maturity level five. And actually, if you look at the results and you look at the organizations that are less mature, you can see that they actually have a negative uh, impact, negative results in many of their areas assessed in the study. So the bottom line is that the study may help you, uh, help support you in getting the support and the resources that you need.